on folks, TJ here. Finally found a moment. Well, it's actually a break for me right now. I want to take a quick break. The puppy's out in the kitchen resting, although she's about ready to come back out again. Haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm getting a little hungry, so I may be getting hangry during this <laughs> video because I am hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. All I had was a coffee this morning or a coffee drink. I want to get this bad boy out, a gift from Casey Nidal. He, I did a video before on some stuff that he had sent me, and he sent me this gift, LTO Flash. And uh, kind of one of the reasons I haven't used it yet, because it does take a little setup and know how to use it. I'm going to have to connect it to a computer and, tr and get a ROM of something, and I don't want to download anything illegally, so I needed to find something I could put on here. And with it being... Christmas time. There is a game made for the television called Christmas Carol. I think the name's longer than that, and I'll do a video on that maybe during this whole thing because that's the game. They allowed a digital download freely, uh, and I could download it and try it. So I'm going to do a bo unboxing of this. It's still in the, the plastic seal. Get my bearings straight, and then do a video of me playing this game using this. I'm not going to do a video on how to install the GUI software on a Mac and transfer it over to here. If people think that's something of interest, I can always make a video on that later. But this video is going to be an unboxing of this device and me connecting it up to an Intellivision and seeing if it works and play a game of the week probably. And I have to try to do this all before Christmas because Christmas is basically next week. It's right upon us, folks. So this LTO... Uh, LTO flash device is not cheap either. This was a humongous gift. I don't, this guy's got such a big heart. Um, I guess he kind of likes my YouTube channel. I think he likes me saying the word bastard. That's why he watches my, my, my video because when I play, I get a little flustered and I have to look at the camera and go, you bastard, <laughs> because the game pissed me off a lot. You know, some of these programmers put stuff in the games and it's just not cool, man. <laughs> So I think he likes me, my style of play. He likes me saying bastard. And his kids and wife have also watched. They actually played a video game I made for the Specky. Specky Next. I made a game called Invasion of the Cop People. And he actually went out and purchased a N-Go, which is the next clone, to play the game. And he devoured it and won it five or six or eight times or whatever. So he just likes playing video games. He's an avid Intellivision collector, user... And uh, he's building a man cave. It's like a man shop, actually. And I can't wait for him, because he said he purchased some cameras and stuff, and he's supposed to eventually, finding the time, make some videos. So hopefully one day he has this man shop. I'm not going to call it a cave, because it's a big shop, with all of his stuff. And I, Because I'd love to see his Intellivision collection. So anyway... LTO Flash. What is it? Well, it's a very, you know, pretty much every platform out there that's retro, if we want to call it that, have ways to connect SD cards or flash memory devices to grab ROMs out in the ROM world there, put them on one cartridge and be able to enjoy them. I have similar things for my 2600. Uh, what other device I've got? Uh, I don't have one for the Odyssey yet, but I know they make one. But I've got one for my 2600 and an Atari 8-bit computers that let me do that. And so uh, let's go ahead and open this package with no further ado. Left Turn Only Productions. Left Turn Only. LTO. Oh, I finally got that. <laughs> I thought the LTO stood for something else that was specific to Intellivision. But it's Left Turn Only. LTO. Flash. Okay, so there, and so the front of the box is probably going to get a little bit of glare because it's still got the plastic on there. And I can inch my nose behind here because you can't probably see it right now, although you probably do. Uh, it, it looks like it's an Intellivision with the cartridge in there, and it's got, almost looks like the Starship Enterprise blowing out, and a tank, and an airplane, and a football. You may not see those in this because it might be a little too glary, but that's kind of a fun looking box. Enclosed cartridge for use with Intellivision compatible master components. On the back, let me move this up. Maybe it'll make it a little easier for you to see with a little less glare from this plastic. Oh, oh, you know, sometimes these plastic things are a video game all in themselves. You ever get, you know, the sealed CDs? Yes, my wife and I still buy CDs for music. Uh, and we got lots of digital too. 
But then they put these little tape things over the CD, so they got it wrapped in shrink wrap. Then they got these gooey things on all the sides. I mean, what do you need that extra goo for? You gotta take five hours to get it out. Pisses me off. See, a lot of things piss me off. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a lot of... Oh, it's stingy. It's clingy. Oh, it's every uh, static cling now. LTO Flash. I'm going to read the back and then I'll show you. Uh, LTO Flash. Unleash the intellig intelligence of your television. LTO Flash. Flash. <laughs> Unlocks the power of your Intellivision video uh, game system. Have your entire collection at your fingertips in a single powerful cartridge. Then it shows a picture of what looks like maybe a Mac and a Windows version of their Finder or File uh, Manipulation Program. And then on the right it shows an LTO flash, like maybe the screen that I'm going to see on my Intellivision. It says, easy to use, connects to your Windows or Macintosh computer via high-speed USB 2, flexible, organize your game library the way you... Uh, you want it to, in a powerful GUI, adaptable, addresses many compatibility problems with Intellivision 2. And there is a game I think I said that says, for Intellivision, but not 2. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I guess 2 is just a little bit of the, the stepchild. I don't know. I just didn't like it as much. I actually love it, other than the joy pads. Uh, but I get through it because I just like the size and the compactness of it. And the ECS... Set it and forget it. I like that. Set it and forget it. It's almost like one of those infomercials. Set it and forget it. Throw your can of soup in here and pan your spaghetti in here and just conglomerate and set it and, and go. And then it's all done when you get home for dinner. Uh, capable LTO Flash delivers exciting possibilities with unique features for new games. One megabyte of random access memory. 32 megabyte onboard flash. Serial over USB. Convenient. Generous onboard flash means no need to open the cartridge to update your collection. Cool. Uh, compatible. Works with all the television compatible master components. The ECS and the IntelliVoice module supports the original Intellivision catalog and all IntelliCart, CC3, and JLP-based games. So here's the back of the box. The text will probably be a little too small for you to see, but there you go. So how does this box open? Is it going to be one that pisses me off? No! See? They're intelligent at LTO. Uh, they have a nice little flap that opens. Not like those stupid... What are those games that the silver boxes and the, everything falls out the bottom of it and you take it out of the thing and everything falls? The stupidest packaging, but the greatest games. So they had to draw... You have great games, but shitty packaging. <laughs> so here, it opens up nice and convenient. And so on one side is a booklet... And we'll show that a little bit more. I want to make sure this cartridge is not loosey-goosey in there. El Tilio Flash. El Tilio Flash on that side. And then the cartridge on this side. So let me take it out because I don't want it to drop. And there's nothing else in the box. So that's the box. The cartridge is a neat, nifty, translucent orange. I'm hungry now. I want an orange. A really cool-looking cartridge. So it's orange, and then you can see through it. I love see-through stuff. You know, every boy and every, probably girl, when they read comic books, wanted those see-through glasses. Probably more the boys, because we're perverts, right? <laughs> Ooh, look through. Look through that dress. Look through this. Yeah, that's what they're doing in comic books, setting up us for failure. Getting us in trouble. So that's that. It says one way only, and there's a whole bunch of air. I don't know if you can pick that up, but the, the cartridge is fun inside. It's got little one way only, and uh, both of them are pointing left and straight, and then one way to the right. That's interesting. And then the other side says LTO Flash. And it looks like it's got a whole bunch of components. You're not going to see them on there. The side shows LTO Flash. And then this side is the cartridge. So now I did a quick perusal online. I do need to download a, a program for my Mac and try to use it. Uh, but the booklet comes with it. Hopefully this explains it too. And in the booklet, it's got that fun little picture. Maybe this booklet will show it a little better. But doesn't that look like the Starship Enterprise down there? Just with little, little mini, little, little, little mini thrusters. Just little propellers. Not really big. Just the saucer's bigger. <laughs> they were undercompensating for things, I guess. 2016, it looks like this was made. And there's an introduction. I hear my dog chewing out there. Oh, God. I got to go get it. 
Uh, and so I'm going to fly through this. There's basically instructions sending the, in the ROMs. It talks about uh, the program. Let's make a menu, special features. Would you like to play a game? Uh, configuration menu, uh, all sorts of stuff. Troubleshooting. So it's a little booklet that you probably don't care much about unless you have one of these and needed to read it. it talks about technical specifications. I see the word te uh, in Television 2 again on here. Supports all known banking, paid switching modes, transparent in Television 2 compatibility fixes. That damn in Television 2. And then the back. So, cool. All right. That's the unboxing part. Now I'm going to connect that to my computer, download the UI, try to put that Christmas game, Christmas Carol, and I'll figure out the full name of it later, and play it and see if this whole thing works. Come back for more here in a few minutes. Howdy folks, TJ here. Going to do a game of the week using my LTO Flash. And I'm going to also incorporate this part of this video into the unboxing video. But then make a separate video on the game I'm about to play. But I wanted to follow up. I last left you at unboxing the LTO cartridge. And I couldn't get it to work. Message the makers of it a couple of emails. I had neither got back to me. They're so probably busy during the holiday season I posted on the Atari age group and a number of people responded one of them saying The cable that you're using because I tried multiple micro USB cables the cable that you're using Did you try on another device and it worked for data? Because there's some cables that are charge only so that is a new thing to me because I knew Apple, you could sometimes buy cheap, I think you call them Thunderbolt cables, the ones that they use on the um, iPhones that are charge only, they won't do data. I don't know if they get around that so they don't have to pay royalty fees or something. I didn't realize that on micro USB cables that it was the same thing because I have three or four or five different micro USB cables and none of them worked. And somebody on the Atari Age group said, that cable issue. And I said, well, my wife does have an Amazon Kindle device. I know data goes through that. Let me try that one. I tried it, and by golly, it worked. So my cartridge is not faulty. It worked. It's a matter of the cable. So now I know. So my whole thought was I wanted to do a first test on this and go through it. I've now tested it. I know it works because I had to make sure it works. So we're now going to do a new game of the week, Christmas related, for the Intellivision Amico Society. So anyway, if you're watching my other video where I was doing the unboxing, I'm going to start up and show you how it works. And then I don't know if I'm going to include the gameplay in the video because it may end up getting too long or I'll just let it all fly and you can watch both of it. But anyway, I've got my LTO cartridge connected to my Intellivision 2. And I did test it a little bit ago, and I know it works. So use the right cable, folks, and I learned something today. So the game I'm going to play is called, what is it called? It's a big, long name, Christmas, I remember this part, but I didn't remember the rest. Christmas Carol vs. The Ghost of Christmas Presents. What's neat about this game is you can actually at one time, but no longer, buy it as a cartridge. I went out to their website to actually see because I was looking for Christmas games to play with in television since it's Christmas time. But they said that digital version is now free. Freely download it, play it, enjoy it. And that's what I'm going to do. So the first game I'm going to try on my LTO is this game. I've got the destructions printed out over here. So you're going to see me leave the video a little bit so I can read it off to you. And we'll enjoy it together. Although maybe I'll do this. I'll go... Zoom. And then we'll move the camera back when we turn on the television. So Christmas Carol versus the Ghost of Christmas Presents. Looks fun. Objective. Guide Carol. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see the person's name or creature's name was Carol. Through the maze-like caverns to pick up the Christmas presents while avoiding... Oh, my arm hurts. I was using my chainsaw the other day and I fell backwards and wrapped my arm on a rock as I fell. It sucks getting old. Anyway, along the way, pick up candy and magical snowflakes that award you additional 
points and help you on your adventure. Carol's adventure. To save Christmas, you must guide Carol Greenleaf. Ooh, that's a very elfish name. Through all eight stages of her journey. So it's a girl. The adventure concludes once she c collects all the presents the evil snowman hid in the frozen ice cube caverns. Carol reaches a new stage of her adventure every two levels. Every stage introduces a new cave for Carol to explore. So I was thinking Carol. Carol O'Connor could be a guy. Carol lady can be a lady. So yeah, I guess it could go either way. I was just thinking Christmas Carol. Wasn't thinking of a person's name. I was thinking Christmas. Oh, Carol singing. So cool. I'm glad there's a character named Carol. I like that. If the evil snowman catches Carol, he Oh, it says he freezes now. Oh, I'm a, is this one of those bi-gender things? It's, it's a guy. It's a girl. It's all over the place. Maybe it's just a spelling. Uh, let me read this again. <clears throat> Carol to explore. If the evil snowman catches Carol... Oh, he freezes her. I get it. Okay. It wasn't saying Carol is a he, not a she, but it is a she, unless it changes later. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. I just wanted to get this out on the table. Uh... So let me keep reading here. He freezes her, stopping her adventure right in its tracks. Santa then has to use his magic to thaw her back out again. Santa will always thaw Carol back out, but will only give her so many chances to complete her mission. All right. Uh, Carol will work tirelessly to save Christmas for as long as Santa asks her to... Uh, well, that's right there in the sentence. Carol will tirelessly uh, to save Christmas for as long as Santa asks her to. Okay, I get it. It's hard this distance reading when you're blind, you know. It's, it's, it's really difficult. The final stages of Carol's adventure will require extra effort. The cave is nestled deep in the Himalayas and contains new surprises. If you guide Carol this far, Santa will give you an extra chance to master its unique challenges. Once Carol finishes the last stage, congratulations. With your help, Carol has saved Christmas from the evil snowman. You don't see too many evil snowmans, do you? No, normally they're, they're jolly folk. Her work is done now. However, the evil snowman gets trickier every year, and Santa will once again ask Carol to save Christmas. Uh, he strikes again when he strikes again. Something like that. So free download, like I said, free ROM download. So cool. I think I don't need to read the rest there. Is there anything else? Uh, no, I think we're going to end it there. The pictures on the website look dastardly great. Dastardly good for um, a, a game of the Intellivision character. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. By the way, look at that little computer on top of my Atari 800. That's a new computer I just acquired purchased. Very expensive. <laughs> My hobbies are too damn expensive. It's called a sword. Not S-W-O-R-D, but S-O-R-D. So, let's go ahead and turn on TV and make sure the volume... This TV is not very loud. i got to connect some speakers to it because I'm a very loud person. Uh, oh, it's up to 76. That's loud. 76 gas station. That's loud. Am I recording this? Oh, yeah, I'm recording this. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm going to hit the tripod. I can tell already. I'm going to get out of control and hit the tripod. Okay. So, um, turn on. Line, line, line. So, this is for you still watching from the uh, last video. LTO Flash. So, it comes up with a, a nice flash screen, 2021. <clears throat> I think I'm going to back up the camera just a bit because I sense... I'm going to really wrench on that tripod. I'm going to hit it, and everything's going to blow off of it, and we don't want that to happen. <clears throat> oh. All right, so I haven't quite figured out 100% how to use this. I think last time I just hit the this, I hit the, the disc, <clears throat> and you'll see the LTO flash pops up, and Christmas Carol versus the Ghost of Christmas Presents, free Dow. Freak out. Uh, and I forget what I hit to make the game go. I think that was it the disc again? No. Uh, button? No. Top button. Top button did it. ROM only version for non commercial use only. Available at 
Uh, there we go. Carolverseghost.com. Play it, enjoy it, share it. Uh, James Pujols. So, cool. Uh, I guess hit the top button again. And we'll let you enjoy this. I'll, I'll lay back. Pick my nose for a second. Oh, the allergies are kicking my butt. But yeah, let's just listen to this. This is quaint. Come into my B&B. <laughs> TJ's B&B. Where you play video games 24-7. No sleep allowed. Even though there's a bed, there's no sleep allowed. You gotta play in bed. Wow. Pretty fun music. I like it. Very Christmassy. Look at that. The text looks great. Christmas Carol vs. The Ghost of Christmas Presents. So I'm gonna hit the top button again. Haunted Hollow, stage one. Oh, look at that little dude. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that looks like a Pac-Man kind of creature. That's like ghost. Little drips. That's what my nose is doing right now. Drip, drip. All right. Oh, ready. Okay, so there I am up on the top right here. Oh, he just starts walking all by himself. So I guess you've got to... The object of this game is to run and, and stop and then keep running. Oh, he's not going left. He's not going left. Oh, crap. He's not going left. i got to unplug my joystick and start over. Once in a while, this joystick does that. He's only going right. Oh, look. He's, he's all smushed. You sons of a bitch. Okay, i got to turn this off and unplug and reconnect the joystick. Well, that's not a good start, is it now? Okay, it's off. Sometimes this joystick, I don't know if it's sticky uh, or what's going on. It's a little... I'm kind of glad that you can unplug these, but it, ooh, it is a little difficult. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, gee. Uh, you gotta have like little elf hands. Like that Carol. Elf. Oh, gee. How are my knuckles? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, this does it. Oh, I gotta go through this again. I'm sorry, folks. <clears throat> Okay. Ouch. Hopefully this works. <clears throat> That's so cute. It's not very loud. Okay, let's... Hopefully he goes left this time. So he just... Carol busted out this last time going right all by herself. Down, left. Okay, so now left's working. Present. Oh, I got a present. I like this. Oh, I like this kind of game. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, go up. Let's get that snowflake. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice move there, Charlie. Uh, oh, 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 oh. This could be difficult. Oh, crap. Oh, you can move left, too. Oh, you, you can move all around. Oh, I, you don't have to bounce off against... Holy shit! The snowman's after my ass! Oh, you can... You, you don't have to bounce off walls. You can just jam. What the hell was I doing? Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, I stunned him or something. Oh, I got five extra points. Oh, you bastard! You son of a bitch, snowman. Oh, I was doing so good. I thought this was a game that you had to... Uh, you know, you, you go off a bounce off a wall and you have to go that direction and the object is to get all those things. But I guess not. Is there a present up here? I got it. Oh, God. I was oh, under the wrong premise if you had to bounce off the wall things. So get ready. Okay. This is, this is fun. So I could just fly through this adventure thing now. See how those things stop like that? Now, this isn't like a Pac-Man where I stun him if I touch a snowflake, is it? Oh, oh you bastard! You son of a bitch! Oh, he freezes and cracks! Oh. Go! I got it! Nice! I'm going to turn up this volume some more. It's really not that loud. 
That's a little better. Stage two. Oh, I didn't watch what he just did. Frosted maze. I got that part. Oh, he's got like a little... What the hell is that? Oh, he's smiling and laughing at me. You, you sons of a bitch. I'm going to get you. You wait and see. All right. Oh. This one looks slippery. This one looks really slippery. See, that stuns the ghost when you hit that. I wonder if you could touch him when you do... Oh, he's under my ass! Oh, he smudged me. You hear that? Smudge. Oh, run, you, you son of a bitch. Snow. He's so fast. I've never seen a snowman move so fast. <clears throat> it's like Frosty's been doing something. Oh, game over. This is kind of cool. I'm digging this. I'm playing a Christmas game on an Intellivision 2 at Christmas time. Let's play again. I'm just hitting the top button. Doesn't look like you can get... Oh, yeah, you can go past that stage, too. Okay. Ready? Go! Go! So I'm thinking why I thought the game was one of those... you got to bump up against the wall and you stop. Because my joystick was not moving left. So I thought I had to... It's naturally stopped there and screwed my head over. Oh, that son of a bitch snowman! You bastard! Oh! Run! <laughs> I got to it before he got to it. Yeah, you snowman. I kicked your ass. I froze you. Go. The graphics on this are wonderful for a, a television game. Oh, I should have went and touched him, seeing if that did anything. So, sounds are fun. Graphics are fun. Oh, I should have touched him again. You oh, the snowman's after my ass. But I'm going to win. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'm jamming now. Fully jamming. That game, that sound effect just sounded a little Pac-Man-y to me. Oh, i got to watch this frosted maze. Question mark. What did he puke or yell? <laughs> and some yellow projectile stuff came out of his mouth. This guy's going to laugh at me. Oh, you're going to get it, you little ghost. All right. Go! Okay, let's start. Let's go up this time. Maybe the secret is to go up. After I get that one. <laughs> yeah, see how he freezes like that? Oh! Now, I don't know. It, it looks like maybe the ghost... Oh, he's after me! Oh, go run! Oh, you... Oh, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't touch that thing. Go! Oh, one more place. Go down! Down! Left, down! Oh, yes! Do, 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 do. See, dun, dun. He didn't have the dun, dun in there. Oh, that's a tricky tune. So you gotta... So it looks like it's identical levels each time. Oh, see, here it goes. Oh, he added a present. Oh, he steals presents. Oh, the ghost is after me. I mean, the, the, the snowman. Oh, I gotta trick him, though. Trick him. That's right. Oh. Left. Down. Right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dun dun! Yeah, that's right. Oh, Candy Cove, stage three. Oh, he's got little antlers. I'm digging this game. Totally digging it. Oh, you got a little red nose. Are you Rudolph? Yes, you are. Hey, did you do the I was too late. He already ran off. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. You're going to, like, go in a room, and then that damn snowman's going to come on harp all over you. Down. Otto says down. Oh, I've got all sorts of points flying around. Oh, you smudgy. You bastard. Oh. Oh, you 
you keep stealing my gifts. Stop doing that. Oh, there's little dots now. There's little dots like Pac-Man. Were there dots before? Oh, now you gotta collect dots. Oh! Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, he froze and cracked. Oh, it's like you're in... Oh, go. Okay. Go. So this is trickier now. You've got these little points that you... I don't know if you have to get those in order to advance. Um, let's try not doing that. It, it could be strictly a points thing. Oh! Oh, you bastard! You stole all my gifts, you sucker! You snowman creature thing. Oh! Is he gonna... F oh, I didn't go down. Oh, I love that death routine. He's just cracking and dying. Oh. Oh, you... S oh, you bastard! Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, this game's getting more intense. I've got to be dead now. Do I have more lives? Go! No, I guess I still got some... Okay, we're going to try something different. Because the last few times I went down there... Oh, I'm just going to go this direction. Oh, you snowman! Oh, he's after... he can go through the walls! Oh, you bastard! I was right there! You sons of a bitch! Oh. oh, I think you've gotten the gist of the game. Dun, 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 dun. This is fun. I'm so happy this was my first LTO flash cartridge game. It's Christmas time. I feel like a little kid playing video games at Christmas time. Now all I need is to invite all my friends over to play. You think they'll do it? No, they're all old and farty. They don't want to play games like I do. Some of them do. All my internet friends do. I just gotta find some local ones that will play video games with me. Thanks for watching the video. LTO Cart works great. Thank you, Casey Nidal. Wonderful uh, gift. And uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy Game of the Week. The Christmas Carol. Uh, something something presents. 